This is the story of one week in my life. It was the week I fell in love. The week I would make my Broadway debut. What the hell is it now? And the week I would meet Orson Welles. How you guys doing? Anyway, we're doing great. Good. Doing good? Yeah. Uh, first question, um, how did you guys hear about the project and become involved and feel like it was something that you wanted to be part of? Well, I optioned with my own money, so I was, think I was there from the, <laughs> the beginning. Christian heard about it when we, um, we had a script and were looking for our Orson Welles, and we kind of converged perfectly at a small theater where you were playing Welles in a, a one-man show that I heard about, and you had heard about we were potentially doing this money. We didn't have financing or anything, but we had a script, the rights, and... But I really didn't think in my wildest dreams, which are pretty wild. You know, I couldn't imagine that, that they could cast. You know, I've never made a movie, and uh, you know, I'm English, and uh, totally unknown. So I, I thought, Im really impossible. Um, and then <laughs> uh, Rick flew me to Austin, and we did a, a screen test, you know, so which was. Oh, it was terribly theatrical, trying desperately to learn as quickly as I could how to act on film. But it worked out. You know, some films are meant to be. I think Finding Christian was the big first step. It gave us, myself and my colleagues, you know, a lot of confidence. Like, okay, we're on the right track here. Nail your words to the back wall, and that goes for the rest of you. Consonants, consonants, consonants. And don't forget the vowels. Don't criticize him, ever. No, sir, there are more with him. Not more with him, more with him. This is Shakespearean verse we're speaking. I know my lines. And I say you need mo time. <laughs> uh, the film's had a real long journey through, I guess, film festivals and all that kind of sort of stuff. And now it's finally ready to hit theaters. What, what's going through your mind? Is It's been this long process and you're finally be able to show it to people in the masses. Yeah, well, every film has its own little journey. This is, it actually went pretty quickly from optioning the book to, you know, to today is only, you know, less than three years, I think. So that's pretty fast in film terms. We were finishing the film at the end of last year, but we were always kind of an end of the year movie. We always felt we were a fall movie, so we had that gap in time. But we got to show it at a few film festivals and sneak it to certain audiences, and we got to build up exactly how they were gonna market the movie. So it feels great, you know? I'm glad we have this extra time, and I, I think the timing's good. Whole show is in shambles. He is an arrogant, I am selfish else. And every single one of you stands here as an adjunct to my vision. You don't like the way I work here? There's the door. There is water breaching the deck. Sabotage! The uh, premise of the film is uh, kind of simple and what all goes on, but the, it allows for the characters to really blossom and you go through this whole emotional coming of age and then there's yeah. also, I really enjoyed uh, your character as far as you get to see him very confident, you get to see him being kind of vulnerable. Oh, great, yeah, you get to see it all. How important was the uh, on-screen chemistry between the three leads from both an actor's and a director's perspective? Well, the chemistry, I mean, it's essential. It's something you just, I think it happens. You know, you get these charismatic actors and there is a stark quality to everybody. So that, I don't think you have to manufacture that. That just comes out of the, actors are great at working together. The mutual respect they show. I, and Zach was my pal. Yeah. I took him out for a cigar and a whiskey in London. You know, he just arrived and, and we, we got chatting and we became pals. So, you know, it's like working with all your friends. Um, that, that didn't need to be manufactured, it was just there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Awesome, the, uh, the film's kind of a film within a film in the whole stage mm -hmm. production. Um, how hard is that to create effectively on screen? Well, it's great fun. I think that's the thing that attracted everyone involved in, in this project to it. You know, anyone who does theater or film has these backstage experiences. And I didn't really have a movie about making a movie, which would be, by definition, autobiographical. I felt making a movie about mounting a stage production was close, very personal, you know, because having done this a lot now, you know, working with a cast and a crew and all the complications, all the differing points of view, everything you could express in that was, was here. Images of magnificence. That's what you see in every great actor's eyes. That's all that matters in this world. So you're um, receiving a whole lot of Oscar uh, buzz, and as you mentioned before, it's kind of your first film. Um, 
what does that do for you as far as future projects? Are you getting a whole lot of offers coming in, or you know what's what? the I, deal? I, 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 you not heard I'll anything give, about? I'll give you an honest, absolutely honest reply. I, I've not read anything, um, and I've not heard anything because. You know, in the theatre, I used to laugh at my colleagues who said, well, I don't read my reviews, you know. <clears throat> I thought, oh, how precious. I'd get the review and I'd, I'd say, oh, Christian, your eyes are utterly dreadful at this. I'd throw it in the corner, I'd go on stage that night, and I'd eat that place up because I'd try and, and be better. Uh, what I discovered quite quickly with film, as it was after Toronto. It hit me like a train. I was ready to read my reviews, and somebody said, yes, there were about 500 of them. And I went, what? what? And that's ranging from the world's greatest film critic to an eight-year-old blogger who uh, is rather angry at me for shouting at a hero. So I suddenly thought, now I understand my colleagues when they said that. So I didn't look at it. And now it's rather, it, it's extraordinary, because I'm from the school of hard knocks. So when somebody comes up to me in the street and, and starts you know, saying, oh, your reviews, you've read that, it makes me terribly nervous because I, I don't know, because I haven't <laughs> read them. I hope, there, I hope people are enjoying the movie. That's the most important thing. I tried my best. I'm proud of every member of this company. Gotta be one of those magic nights tonight. Can you feel it? It's showtime.